Ricky. Yeah? There's a punter coming out at quarter past one. Now, look, if I'm not around, will you keep him warm for us till I get back? Where are you going? I've got to see Dave Barrett up my store. Dave Barrett? Mm, he's got half a dozen motors he wants to shift. I think it could be a good deal for us. I would never do business with him. Said he was a crook. So? What's that got to do with the price of petrol? What are you saying? Oh, right. Well, I'll bear it in mind. Um, David, listen, if you're going out half past, I'm going to nip out and get myself some dinner, all right? Yeah, all right. But don't be late back. How long you got? Half hour. Come then. All right. Mm, all right. No, they've brought me to the allotments before. Nothing's too good for you. What, Ben? It's better than all them boring places, restaurants, nightclubs. Theatres. Monte Carlo. Caribbean cruises. Well, I think it's really romantic. Yeah, next time I'll see if I can get the keys to half the shed. Oh, don't spoil me. I'm in the shed tomorrow. I'll be asking for the greenhouse next. That's the point. It's exciting, though, isn't it? What is? Hiding from everyone. Makes you feel sort of naughty. How naughty? <laughs> what you are. Well, I mean, it's like doing something you're not supposed to, isn't it? Makes it more fun. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, let's get back to the naughty bit. I've only got five minutes. Bianca, look, not here, eh? Well, why not? Well, you know, they, they might see us. So? Give them a thrill. No, look, Bianca, look, they're looking. Ricky, if we don't do it soon, I think I'm going to explode. We will. Well, when? Well, soon. I'll sort something out. I want you to sort me out. <laughs> Bianca! <laughs> Alan? Yeah? He's not back yet, is he? No, I haven't seen him. Marvellous. Problems. I'm due at a meeting up past. He said he'd be back in time. Would you want me to go no, and no, find no. him? No, no, no. I'll do it. Not only that, I've got the wallpaper, but I'm up 17 quid on the deal. Well, Huffer? Yeah. Have you seen Ricky? No, I'm sorry, son, I haven't. So if she says anything, keep sure, mate. Wine, I've got a bottle of scotch, mate. Right. Have you seen Ricky? No, sorry, mate. Look, I might do the interview, I'm not even really like it. Maybe I should come with you. Look, I'm a big girl now. Sorry, mate. Nice. Listen, have you seen Ricky about? Ricky, no. Kath, Ricky in there at all? No. Eh? Ricky? No, I ain't seen him. Where the hell have you been? What's your business? You're supposed to be back by half past twelve. You knew I had a meeting. Oh, so I'm a bit late. No big deal. Well, I have to think it is a big deal. I'm trying to run a business over there. No, we're trying to run a business. Well, from where I'm standing, mate, you don't seem to be doing that much. Oh, don't give me that. I've been working my guts out the past couple of weeks, fixing up rust buckets you bought, no, remember? I'm talking about today. This ain't good enough, Ricky. You what? I said this ain't good enough. Oh, get stuffed. You shouldn't put your love life before business, right? I saw you with Bianca. Listen, who I see has got nothing to do with you, no, all right? maybe not, but what about him? He's got nothing to do with him either. Well, I'll tell him then, shall I? What's your problem? You are! Oh, well, because I was five minutes late? No, because your mind's not on the job. Well, are you going to tell him or not? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. I'll do what you want. I've had just about enough of this, Ricky. He don't seem very happy. Well, that's his lookout. What is it with you two, anyway? Hey? We always at each other's throats all the time. Listen, Alan, I don't think you'd understand, mate. Try me. Look, it's nothing for you to worry about, all right? Just get on with the cars. You're the boss. Morning. How's love and boys today? All right. All right. What'd you want? Look, um, I'm sorry about that last night. You're sorry. You made me look like a rat prat. It wasn't that I didn't want to, you know. Well, you could have fooled me. I'm not a machine, you know. Just getting going. You start leaping about like Basil Fawlty. I just want it to be right for the first time. That's all. Ah, at this rate, there ain't gonna be a first time. Might as well join the nunnery. She was listening to us. I know it. No one. Is he calling me pervy again? Do you mind? This is a private conversation. Excuse me. Look, next time it'll be perfect. I promise. I don't know. I'll sort something out today. All right? Yeah, but where? I don't know yet. I will. Just leave it to me. Right. Tear the bacon roll, please. See ya. Look, it's a question of priorities. This business is never going to get off the ground unless we both get stuck in. And you're saying I'm not? Yeah, when you're there, but swanning off every five minutes. Me? You're the one that goes swanning off. Yeah, but that's different. I'm working. I'm out there meeting people and generating business and buying cars. I'm moping around like some lovesick schoolboy all the time. All right, I was late back from lunch once. Well, that's once too often. Either we're in this together or we ain't. Right, Miss Fella? Oh, don't tell me your mother's not coming in. No, I've just bought this for Pat. All right, then. End machine, some powder at the back if you want it. Oh, Paulina, could you try this for Pat, please? 
Yeah, OK, stick it down there. All right. Be uh, about half hour. That's all right. I'll wait. Listen, I ain't got too long. Is this the best you can think of? Well, there's the only way I could get out. Oh, I'm really living it up this week, aren't we? First the allotment, now the laundry. Have you sorted something out yet or what? Of course. Where? Listen, look, it's half a fella's party, isn't it? Oh, it's all right then. Half a fella's party. Great night out that way. No, but listen, Pat and David are going to be there, so we can sneak out and go to the house. Pat Janine? Well, she's staying with a friend. All right then. We need some drink, eh, and take it with us. Yeah. What are you two whispering about? Oh, we're, we're just talking about uh, Arthur's party. Oh, there is one. Hey. Eh? Anyway, while you stood there doing nothing, give me a hand with these sheets, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How old is he, anyway? He must be 51 now. He's not. Blimey, I thought he was older than that. Uh, that's what living with Paul Reed does for you. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Hi, hi. Hi. Are we going yet? Yeah, in a minute. When? We'll wait till it gets kind of big. They won't miss us then, will they? Smell that. Excuse me. Do you like it? It's new body spray. Mm. And I've got it on all over. Sorry, prat. Sorry, David. Do you know how much this costs? We were done. Are you ready? Yeah. There's no one looking. You go first, and I'll meet you in about ten minutes, all right? What am I going to do for ten minutes? Warm the bed up. Right. I don't want you being late tonight. So what to do in the morning, OK? Where are you going? I'm going home. I've had enough. <laughs> Come on, Ricky. Up and at them. Early bird gets the worm and all that. Yeah, and then they go out and buy a car to celebrate. Who's going to look at a car this time in the morning, eh? Well, that's just where you're wrong, matey, because I had a punt on the phone yesterday who's made an appointment for 8 o'clock to look at the hatchback. He wants to have a look at it before he goes to work. The hatchback? What, the, the blue one? How many hatchbacks have we got? Yes, of course, the ruddy blue one. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? You told me it was running all right now. No, not exactly, no. I suggest you pull your finger out, mate, because he wants a test drive in 20 minutes. Oh, I was watching that. So? Listen. I'll give me the finger. No, stop, stop it! Stop doing that. <sighs> Sonny, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, don't start on her. Oh, Bianca, give me the thing back, will you? Stop mucking around. Oh, look at the size of that! Look at oh, you! No one! That is my serious love, boy. Well, what would you know about it? We can't hear the telly. Mr. Keys with the sharp teeth, can't Dracula? Just shut up. You're talking rubbish. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, you got some bloke and you don't want Mum to find out. It's not true. No? So it'll be okay to tell her, is it? Tell me what. Come on, you two. I've done the place, Santa. Go and get your shoes on. So? What are you going to tell me then? Bianca's in love again, Mum. Oh, well, that's hardly news, is it? Right, I'm off to work. Oh, you don't know how nice it is to hear you say that again. Yeah. So what are you two doing today? I don't know. I think I might be Prime Minister today. Yeah, me and Kevin after the cinemas. Want to have a little snog in the back row. <laughs> More yours, see, you know, innit? Bianca. All right. Ain't you too hot in there? Oh, don't you know anything about fashion? You couldn't lend us a couple of quid, could you? Sorry, love, I'm skin. Oh, hang on, Bill. <laughs> Forgot I had this. Yeah? yeah? That looks skin to me. I want a change bag, all right? Hello. You? Yeah? Oh, you haven't got a change of a tenner on you, have you? No, I told you, I'm skin. Uh, do us a favour. Would you lend a petty cash box for us, please? Sure. Turner's here. Really? Sorry. You're always short of a bob or two, aren't you? <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah, well, some more than others. Hang on. Some money been nicked or something? Well, it looks like that. How much? 40 or 50 quid. And, uh, you reckon I took it? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying someone did. It was there last night. Right. And you caught uh, a bit of thieving going on. Got to be the black guy, right? right. No, no, of course not. <laughs> Didn't you? No, honest. I'm just, I'm just eliminating suspects. I mean, you had the, uh, the motive, you had the means, you had the opportunity, didn't you? Yeah, that don't mean I've done it. 
I've never had any trouble with the old bill, right? All right, all right. I'm sorry. I should have uh, asked you straight now. Yeah. You sure he had a break in or something? Yeah, positive. So who took it? Well, if I didn't and you didn't... Well, Ricky must have. But he ain't got a nick from his own firm, is he? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, he probably just needed it for something for God to mention to me. So, uh, I'm not Fibon or anything? Hmm? No, no, no. Look, I'm sorry, Alan. No, I'm sorry about all this. No hard feelings, eh? I'll have a chat with uh, Ricky and I'll get it sorted out. Tell you what, though, now it's starting to drive me up the wall. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you never get that feeling, do you? You know, like... Like a tongue cat? Yeah. No. It's starting to feel like a month. Well, you just have to settle for Ricky, then, won't you? Oh, chance would be a fine thing. Tell you what, though, he's desperate. Have a look at this. It's nice. I'd like to send him over for a cold shower. Natalie, are you listening to me or what? Of course I am. So what have you got to go down to the floor, then? No, it just looks that way when you're floating about in the stratosphere. Oh, <coughs> but I'm in love. I've noticed. Anyway, you're not the only one. What, you? No, you're stupid. Who, then? I'm not telling. Oh, it's not your mum again, is it? When you've got a serious suggestion, write it down on the postcard. Oh, come on, Nat. You know you're going to tell me. Hiya. Oh, hi. Aren't you a bit hot in there? No. Mm. Right. All right, Ricky. Bye. You all right? Yeah, you all right? Yeah. It's starting to get really fed up with this, isn't it? Yeah. There's not a lot we can do, is there? I don't see why we can't just come out, though, like... People just have to come. We're not talking about people, are we? We're talking about families. Your mum, my stepmum. Anyway, Pat's been through a lot lately, you know, with my dad going, David messing her about. If she found out we were seeing each other, that would really break her up. So? You can be really cruel sometimes, can't you? Mm. That's why you like me, innit? Yeah. So, are we still on for tonight? Mm. I'll meet you in the laundry then, yeah? Yeah, about eight, yeah. Unless David mucks me about again. Sure you don't want me to have a word with him? Mm, I think it's best you keep that out of his way. Why don't you trust me? No, it's him I don't trust. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. How are you mate. doing? Yeah, not bad. Fancy a game? Yeah, just a quick one. All right, then. Right. You call. Heads. So how was it? I'll start. What not? This is Trace. Uh, I was hoping I'd see you, actually. Oh, yeah? Why was that, then? I thought I'd better warn you David's on the warpath. Oh, yeah. Now why? Over the flow. You what? Well, he reckons the petty cash is down a bit. Well, how much? About 50 quid. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. All right. Yes. Do you want something? No. no. We'll get this done quicker without an audience. All right. There's no need to be so touchy, isn't there? What's that supposed to mean? Oh. Well, there might be something you wanted to talk to me about. Uh, yeah. The petty cash is short. Yeah? Well, don't you think you should have spoke to me before mentioning it to Alan? Well, I'm sorry, I thought you were out of work. I was just eliminating him from my inquiries. David, we're meant to be partners. If there's money missing, I should know about it. I mean, for you and I might have had it. And have you? No. Are you sure? You're calling me a liar. No, but you might have forgotten. Read my lips. I didn't take the money. All right? I'm not a thief. All right, all right, calm down. Look, uh, let's get back to work, eh? Yeah. Just have to be a bit more careful about security, won't we, eh? And where are you going? Oh, no, it's me, Natalie. Oh, no, not looking like that, you're not. Like what? You've got more slap on you than a makeup counter. So, everyone wears makeup, you wear it. Yeah, but I don't go out looking like Coco the Clown, do I? Well, you're just jealous. Clean it off. Yes. Oh. What's that? Nothing. Well, you don't look like nothing to me. It looks like a dirty, great big love bite. Yeah, and so what if it is? You be careful, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. And I want you back by 11. Oh, all right. I think I'll have to take it down the family planning with me. Look, Bianca ain't stupid. Isn't she? No. Mum, Mum! What? Look, it's broken in the nose! I can't believe it! Still, how's your ear? Yeah, I thought you told me this car was in perfect condition. Uh, Promise me it was in perfect nick. It is. Then why does it break down after doing less than 10 miles? Look, Mr. Jones, let my mechanic have a quick look at it for you. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Look, I'll give you till tomorrow. Otherwise, I want my money back. I'm sure it'll be fine. Mr. And I've Jones. told the pickup people they can bill you. I'll see you tomorrow at 10. Brilliant. I thought you said it was a loose connection. It was. Well, you better reconnect it, haven't you? All right. And sharpish. Where are we going to go then? I don't know. What about the park? You really know how to treat a girl, don't you? Well, we ain't got much choice, have we? Why can't we go to yours? No, 
Well, I've only gone out for a little while. I know. <laughs> what here? Yeah, well, that should put them up, shouldn't it? Come here, don't worry. Don't worry about it, Shell. She's still a bit sensitive about people taking Vicky. That's okay. Oh, hello. Oh, Mark. Oh, uh, Ruth, this is uh, Ricky Butcher. Oh. He's part of the car lot business on the oh, corner yeah. of the square, and uh, this is Bianca. All right. Hi. Your mum works in here in the afternoons. What, you still have to come in here to do your washing? No, she left out here. Just come back to get it for her. I'm going now. See you later. Yeah. Oh, you there. Oh, Cheers, Ricky. So what's his game then? How do you mean? Well, none of the other machines are working. So what was he doing here then? Same thing I was when I was a kid. Is that why you brought me in here then? What was that? Someone's coming. Oh, this is stupid. Why don't we just go to an hotel or something? You're having a laugh, and you? I want to go with you. No. You really didn't have to walk me on, you know. Ah, but I insist. I insist. You're a real old-fashioned gentleman at heart, don't you? I try. I try. <laughs> You're grand with old man Tavernier, eh? It's my grand. It's my great grand. Same thing. Well, good night, Jules. Good night, sweet lady. Oh, dirty old man. You're still here. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Look forward to that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at your eyes. What? Ain't no lights on. Come on in. I went to have a word with you about what you said earlier. I meant it. Hmm. I know you did. And I've been thinking, uh, maybe we should do more together. Change the tune a bit, innit? And look, I was going to go down the auctions in the morning to uh, get some new stock. How about you come with me? All right? Yeah, I think I'd better go. Yeah, you do that, darling. He's got an early start in the morning. See you tomorrow, then, yeah? There you go. You can wise up on current prices, partner. All right. All right. Don't get a shout at me. I ain't deaf. What? What's up with you this morning, anyway? Nothing. You got the ump about him getting that motor, ain't you? Maybe. I was just thinking. How do we know it was company money he used, eh? I mean, maybe it's been him all along dipping his hands in the till. You're serious? Why not? I mean, maybe that's why he don't need to get involved in the business side of things. Hmm. Mind you, you could always look at the books. Yeah. You need a lot of petty cash to get a motor like that, though. Yeah. Um, so, uh, why don't you go and get a couple of teas, eh? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Mm, taste some toothpaste. Better than tasting last night's curry. I didn't have a curry last night. Oh, okay. What? Shut up. I was going to have to call the fire brigade then. Sorry, Phil. Don't mind me. I only work here. All right. I didn't take them greasy ovals off. Why? So I can run my hands all over you. Well, there's not much point. T-shirt's greasy and all. Well, I hope you've got a clean one for tonight. Oh, well, what's happening tonight? Well, I've got to blossom out the ass. All I've got to do now is get rid of my mum and Alan and we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh. <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, I come to look for you. What for? Well, Mum said the two you might fancy going out tonight. Hmm. Well, I've heard a bit. Yeah, well, 
maybe she's hoping you'll suggest it. So don't let her down, eh? Mm. So who's going to babysit? I don't know. But I'm sure if you're really stuck, I could be persuaded. Cheers, Bree. <laughs> I finally think. What? In the books. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was all company money, so it's all legit. Ah, oh, shame. You told Pat yet about you and Bianca? No. What do you think? Yeah, some things are best kept quiet, aren't they? Yeah. What's best kept quiet? Ricky's love life. Is that your new boyfriend, then? Just like your mother, you. Cheap. Well, at least you don't go picking up blokes off street corners, eh? Listen, darling. Your mum had seen off more blokes than World War One by the time she was your age, so don't come the only other now with me. Oh, why don't you stick a sandwich in her mouth, eh? Shut her up. Or better still, try an old loaf. <laughs> Nothing like a good debate to clear the air, is it? A bit of dragging young girls up dark alleys. Only when I fancy them something rotten. Well, I think we'll well be on the fancying stage. Mm. Are you sure you be at work? I've had enough for one day. Thought I might go home and have a bath. You want to come and scrub your back? Mm. So you all set for tonight then? Yeah, no problem. We've got the ass to ourselves. Oh, right, God. genius or what? Mm. See you later. Mm -hmm. Did you want to go then? What, tonight? Mm. Bianca said you fancied a night out. She said she'd babysit. Oh, yeah, funny that. What? Well, she told me she'd babysit tonight because you fancied a night out. Hmm. So what's she up to then? I don't know. I bet your life she's got something up her sleeve if she's offering to babysit. Do you reckon? Yeah. I know a rat when I smell one. Hmm. So you don't want to go out then? Well, old horses wouldn't get me out of this house tonight. And what if I said I fancied a night out? Do you? Nah. <laughs> Come on, what's on your mind? Or need I ask? Oh. If we get rid of Bianca, we can have the house all to ourselves. You mean, uh, put the kids to bed early? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this takes me back a bit. What? Drums in the bed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you remember that time? <laughs> what's going on? What does it look like? I thought you meant to go out. I said I begged it, remember? Oh, yeah. What's this uh, sudden interest in our social life? Eh? Nothing, I'm just trying to be helpful, that's all. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, thanks, Boo. I'll tell you what, love. Instead of you babysitting tonight, we'll babysit for you and let you go out and enjoy yourself. But, Mum... No, no, it's no trouble, is it? No, your Mum's right. But I promise that. What's the matter? Don't you want to go out? Of course I want to go out. Well, go on, then. Come get yourself ready. Well? Well, what? I think what she means, Ricky. Oh, he knows what I mean. I don't. Well, you should do by now. It's the story of our lives. What is? Give you three guesses. Yeah, but I thought you said it was all sorted. You said. Yeah, I know, but it's just been unsorted. We might as well elope at this rate. <sighs> I don't believe it. Oh, Pat, fancy a drink? Oh, it's on. I'll have a G&T, please, Trace. Can I have half, please, Trace? You are right? You look a bit down. No, I'm all right. Where's your new boyfriend, then, Pat? <laughs> What boyfriend? <laughs> One who was going for her knickers this afternoon. Thought you had more sense than going about with the likes of her. Nice. Just try that. Oh, so... We've got to stop meeting like this, you know. Yeah, Michelle, I wonder what's going on, won't she? Come and join us, eh? What's up? Nice one, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you leave her alone, eh? It's only a bit of fun. Yeah. Well. Listen, there must be somewhere we can go. What about the old sofa bed at the arches? No, it's covered in grease and stuff. It's always an excuse for you, isn't there? It's not an excuse. No, I should probably be listening outside. Look, I ain't a virgin, you know, if that's what you're worried about. Well, how many girls our age are? Yeah, that's right. Have you finished? Yeah. David's just coming, so there's no reason why we can't go back to my place, is there? Yeah, all right. Oh, mm -hmm. you two go and enjoy yourselves. Don't worry about me. Well, do you want a drink before we go? You're having a go at Ricky. Oh, what's he said? Nothing. He just seemed a bit miserable, that's all. I always probably just got the amp because that deal I pulled off yesterday. Yeah, but that was one of Frank's old pals. Go easy on him, will you, David? Mum, if Ricky wants to be taken seriously, then we need a little bit less of this and a bit more action. Who sleeps here, then? Uh, David. This must be ours, then. Mm. Sure, no one's going to come back. Oh, I wonder we're up here, providing you can keep quiet. Well, it all depends on you, doesn't it? Well, how's business? So, so. Yeah, you won't see much. 
seen Ricky about in the three hours, have you? No, no, I ain't not recently. Oh, man, you went for lunch over two hours ago. I'm starving here. Yeah? Why don't you shut up shop then? That's right. Listen, if you see him, send him straight over, will you? Yeah, sure. Hello, my darling. 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 Who's that? Lovely day, isn't it? Quick, uh, uh, go out the back door. Oh, lovely. Yes. Oh, we'll go back upstairs then, quick. I know you want to. Get a move on. <laughs> right, off you go. Yeah, but she might say anything. Well, not if you're quiet. Huh? What if she looks up? You go in there and shut the door. I'd be daft. I think we've got ghosts. No, you go in there and talk to her and shut the door behind you. Ricky. I think I was a ghost. David's after you, all right. I stood at home anyway. I was, I was in bed. Why? Well, I just felt I needed it. Oh, darling, you're not coming down with something, are you? I don't know. Maybe. What was that? What? I thought we heard the front door closed. Didn't you hear it? No. I'm sure I heard something. Right, I, I better get back to the car, all right? Yeah, all right. See you later. Yeah. Hello. I thought you decided to emigrate. I'm starving here. I haven't even had so much as a sandwich. Oh, you should have gone over the cuff. What a loser, so. Well, it's only that you even out there, is it? Ah, oh, well, that is where you're wrong. You sold that redder school? Mm hmm. They just coming back tomorrow with the cash. Yeah, but we're asking more than this. Well, I gave a little discount. What, 300 quid? Well, I sold it, didn't I? <laughs> but you really knocked 300 quid off of it? So are you suggesting something? I thought you said something about wanting your dinner. So where have you been all this time? Round and about. Oh, yeah? What are you meant to? Just in that. Ricky, you've been gone two and a half hours, mate. Don't you think you owe me some sort of explanation? No. You're not my boss. Yeah, but we are supposed to be partners, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. And it seems to me there's only one partner who's doing any work round here. Listen, I do my share. No, not today you don't. Now, where have you been? You really want to know? Yes, I do. You won't like it. But well, try me. I was at home, in bed, with Bianca. So how many out of ten? What sort of questions that? How many? Um, Six, seven? Nine and a half. <laughs> Blimey, you have got it bad. Yeah, well, I like them, don't I? It's only a boy, though. No, he's not. He's 21. Well, he's still a boy compared to Richard Cole. Yeah, well, he's got a better body than Richard Cole. <laughs> and I thought it was Ricky's mind you was after. Anyway, he's not a boy. He's been married. He's set in life. You're just jealous. Have you a Ricky Butcher? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, maybe a bit. You must have had more fun than I did this dinner time. You must tell me your secret sometime. Right, upstairs and wash your face with your hands, you two. Go on. Put more ice cream down their clothes and over their mouths. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boy? Beat. You missed a lovely day. We had a great afternoon in the park. That's all right. I had a nice time here, thanks. <laughs> Doing what? What do you like tonight? Oi, cheeky madam. Leave her. She's winding you up. No, she's like the cat who's got the cream. She's up to something. <laughs> she knows how to get to you. Look, I was a 17-year-old girl once myself, remember, OK? So I know what I'm talking about. Except by the time I was 17, I had a couple of kids around my ankles. Mm. And that's what you don't want for B, yeah? Yeah. Not that I regret my life or my kids, but yes. I take it Mum don't know what's been going on with you and Bianca. You know she doesn't. I don't want you telling her. I won't tell her, will you? No, of course not. What's she got against the Jacksons anyway? Don't ask me. No, what, what have I done to her? I don't know. Ricky, I've got to say this, mate. I don't like you taking her upstairs. Why not? Oh, come on, mate. It's my room as well as yours. Don't worry. We don't go anywhere near your bed. I don't like the thought of her being up there. I mean, how would you feel if I did the same? Oh, with Bianca? With anybody. Oh, you should be so lucky. But you're not being fair to me, mate. We'll find somewhere else to live. You can afford it. What, on the pittance we pay ourselves? Yeah, and the rest. What's that supposed to mean? 
Well, one price for the books, another for the customer. Oh, for God's sake. You're not still on about that Esco, are you? I don't know. Am I? Look, I cut £300 off the price. So what? So you say. Listen, Ricky, that's the God's honest truth. I hope so. See you tonight. What do you think? Where? <laughs> not a million miles away from where we are now. In the pub. Well, you're never going back to his place. Well, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? You're going to get caught, you know, so it's half the fun, isn't it? Hello, gorgeous. What well, gets that table, shall I? Hang on, it's your turn to get the drinks in. No, David, it's definitely your turn. Hiya. Can I help you? Yeah, I hope so. You're looking very attractive tonight. What would you like to drink? I'll have a scotch and a gin and tonic for me, please. All right, then how about David Briggs? He's a bit old. Yeah, it happens. He'll be queuing up for his Zimmer frame before long. <laughs> yes, mate. Thanks, Lord, just... Uh... What are you looking at? Nothing. Yeah, well, it's all right then. What are you saying to that little madam? Nothing. <laughs> Look at her, She's giggling with her sidekick. <laughs> Screw your eyes up, turn the clock back, that could almost be Carol sitting there. Hmm, I know what you mean. Right now, I'm off. You got a nerve. Well, it gives it an edge, doesn't it? And what about his kid sister? She's staying at her mate's. I enjoy yourself. I intend to. Bye. Bye. You've been deserted. She's gone to meet her boyfriend. What about you? Another night in front of the telly? That don't seem fair. Story of my life. Oh, Rick is seriously suggesting you pocketed 300 no, quid. No, he's not suggesting, Mum. He's implying. You haven't, have you? Do me a favour. Anyway, listen, I've got something to say to. What is it? Nothing important. Oh. Hello? Hello? Do you want to go upstairs? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Mm. Oh. Hi. Where are you going? Um, I'm going to bed, mate. I've uh, got a bit of a headache. All right. Good night. It is. Yeah, just gone quarter past seven. Do you want a bit of toast? Since when have you ever been up at quarter past seven in the morning? Well, I'll make you some bacon if you like. What's your game, Bianca? <laughs> no game, Mum. I'm just making breakfast. Do you want some or not? No, you're up to something. I'm going to find out what it is. Who is he, Bianca? It's having a man just that step ahead of you holding open the door. You make George sound like some prince out of a fairy tale. <laughs> he took me to a hotel for tea, did I tell you? I'm talking about the smartest hotel in town. And we sat at the best table by a window with a view of the sea. And he ordered cucumber sandwiches and cream cakes. That's nice. <laughs> so, tell me about your handsome prince. What do you mean? Okay, if you don't want to tell me. Promise you won't tell me, Mum? Cross my heart. It's Ricky Butcher. The lad from the car lot. Nice looking boy. Do you think so? If only when I was four to five years younger. Oh, you're terrible, you are. <laughs> so why don't you want your mum to know? Oh, you know what she's like. Ah, you don't want her marrying you off before you have your bit of fun. Hmm? I could probably cope with that. She's just really got it in for the butchers. Why? I wish I knew. But I really like him, Gran. It makes me laugh, you know. And you like the feel of his arm on your shoulder. Yeah, and the rest. <laughs> Lucky you. What do you mean? The way I see it, you only get one life. So as long as you're careful, why waste it polishing your halo? You and me, I think we've got a lot in common. Yes, I think maybe we have. something for my girlfriend. Oh, me too. Hey? A mate. It's her birthday. Yeah. Can I have this one, please? You're better. You're kidding me. Yeah. 
Well, you know, if your fella give them to you, you'd like them, would you? I ain't got a fella. Take so your pick of fellas round here. You reckon? It's all right. I'm fine today, mate. Right. Oh, Ricky, they're lovely. Put them in. What now? Yeah. Got a mirror? Um, we got a mirror, David. Funny that. I was under the impression we was running a used car business, not a flaming beauty salon. Right, tell me if I'm hurting you. Ah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> really? You're wasting time, mate. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Well, I would. What's that mini knee's looking at? So go look at it. <laughs> no, he's right. I've got work to do. Right, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Ooh, try keeping me away. Bye, then. Hang on a sec, Bianca. Listen, love. Can I give you a word of advice? No. I won't bother. Don't get too involved, eh? With Ricky, I mean. What's it to you? You know he's still not over his wife. Like I said, what's it to you? Well, I'm, I, uh, I don't want to see you get hurt. Why? You do realise he still carries a photograph of her around with him. It's in his wallet. Liar. No, I'm not a liar. He's still very much in love with her. Earrings and stuff them down the nearest toilet. What? We're finished. Why? I ain't playing second fiddle to no one. Is this some kind of joke? You look like I'm laughing. I don't get this. Simple. I've chucked you. Well, I'm not going to let you. Well, tap. Two minutes ago, you was all over Two me. Two minutes ago, I didn't know what I know now. What's he been saying to you? It's nothing to do with him. No, I want to know what's going on. Do you really think I wouldn't find out? Find out what? I feel such an idiot, fooling myself all along that you really like me. I do. Well, the first cut's the deepest, isn't it? Look, is this about Sam? Is it? Well, congratulations, Mr. Brain of Britain. Now get lost! Bianca! You better come in. Well, look through it. Go on. What have you got to lose? No pictures of nobody. Here, take a look. Don't prove nothing. Look, it proves I'm not carrying a picture of Sam round with me. Yeah, I know, but it don't prove that you're over her, though, does yeah, it? Yeah, but I am over her. Yeah, well, so you say. I promise you, I haven't thought about her in months. Look, if she was here now and I had to choose between you and her, there'd be no contest. Well, thanks very much. Well, I'll choose you, wouldn't I? You're just saying that. I mean it. Really? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> There's some shopping I need to get now. When I go out that door, I don't want you two to do no more arguing. Okay? Okay. Uh, okay. I mean it, Bianca. Look, Sam's in the past. It's your aunt now, just you. You could have ruined everything for us. Look, after you went, mate, she just stood there. She was asking questions about Sam. I did. I told her I never even met the girl. It was going on and on. You know what these girls are like. No, tell me. Well, first of all, she wanted to know if you, uh, if you still saw her, if you still loved So you thought you'd stir things up by telling her I've got a picture of Sam in your wallet? No. Well, she didn't just think it up all by herself. Well, actually, that's exactly what she did do. Well, she was going on and on, mate, asking all these questions, and in the end, I, I just blanked her out. I just started saying yes to everything. You're lying. No, I'm not. She didn't have time to go on and on. She was only in here for a couple of minutes after I left, and she'd come running out after me. All right, well, maybe it just seemed longer than it was. Look, I don't know about you, mate, but I'm trying to run a business here and make a bit of money, not run some sort of teenage problem page. You lied to her. Sorry, mate. It was a misunderstanding. We could have split up. Well, you didn't. Yeah, no thanks to you. Look, in future, just keep your mouth shut, all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't want you talking to Bianca about me ever again. No, sir. Yeah, if she's got any questions, you tell her to come and ask me herself. All right, all right. Now, I think you've made your point. If it's all right with you, can we get back to some work, please? Why well, can't you come out? I just can't. But we said we were going clubbing. Well, can't we go next week? I suppose you're seeing another boy. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Really? I suppose not. Do you like my earrings? Yeah. Ricky gave them to me. Be an engagement ring next. Shut up. Do you reckon? Right, 
this is up to date. Cheers. Things ain't looking too bad, actually. No, it's good. I'd better pay ourselves a Christmas bonus. Lovely. Well, don't look so happy about it. Sorry, Mum, I've uh, got a few things on my mind, like... Christmas bonus, you say? That's terrific. Marvellous. What is it? Can't tell him, Mum. Oh, Ricky ain't been going on here about giving that woman a discount, no, has he? No, no. What, then? I honestly can't tell you. Why not? Because I promised. Promised who? Ricky. Ricky's got a secret he doesn't want me to know about. Mm -hmm. Is he inside? No, he's over at the arches. What sort of secret? David, he's not in trouble with the law again, is he? No, 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 no. no. Well, what then? David, I want you to tell me. It's him and Bianca. What about them? I think you'd better come inside. Don't worry, I've got my key. I'll see you later. Ricky? You didn't say he was going out. Didn't I? No. Uh, where are you off to, then? Mm, I don't know yet. Seen anybody special? Um, no, just a mate. Right, anybody I know? No, I don't think so. Oh, so it's not Bianca Jackson, then? I know you've been seeing her in this house. David. I want it to stop, Ricky. Creeping about the house like some common criminal. It wasn't like that. Was that little tongue? You've got her all wrong, Pat. Look, I think what Mum's trying to say... Why'd you have to go and tell her, eh? I didn't tell her. She guessed. Oh, yeah. Well, it just come out, did it? Like a bolt from the blue. Don't you think I've got a right to know if my house is being used as some sort of knocking shop? Stop talking about being like she's some sort of prostitute. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yes, girlfriend. You'd like her if you got to know her, Pat. I don't want to get to know her, thank you very much. What have you got against them, anyway? Look, they're a dodgy lot, Ben Jackson. I didn't ask you. It's, it's like David says. She comes from a bad family, Ricky. She's not good enough for you. Why are you treating me like I'm a kid? I'm sorry, darling. I don't mean to, but... Well, I'm not a kid. I'm 21 now, Pat. And I'll choose my own friends and I'll choose who I'll go out with, all right? Is that your final word? Too right, it is. Too damn right. Stop keep worrying about Ricky, Mum. Ricky? Well, I take it that's what you're thinking about. No, I was thinking about the day you come home and told me you got young Carol Browning up the spout. He was only 14. Don't remind me. That's the day I stopped thinking of you as a kid. Look, please don't let us go into all this again. We go and watch that video, eh? Yeah. David, I... I haven't pushed him away. I'll turn the telly on. You're back early. Yeah. Did you see Bianca? Ricky? Ricky, darling, I don't want us to fall out. Oh, really? It's true, I don't like Bianca, but... Yeah, so you said. Maybe I went a bit far. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it, Pat. I've got to get it sorted out. I don't out, want to but... talk about it. I'm scared of her. No. You weren't scared yesterday. Well, there's no point in pushing her luck, is there? But what can she do? Nothing, I suppose. I've told you already, Bianca. I don't take orders from no one. Not even Pat. All the same, can we just go down the arches? I'm sick of this. What, of me? No, I'm sick of people telling me what to do. You know, I try treating people properly. All they do is just treat me like a kid. I just wish they'd let me grow up. I'll tell you what, I don't want to show them. What do you reckon they have to be doing? I like to imagine. Oh, two women in bed together. Mind boggles. I thought they were mates, you know, just like you and me. Hold up, don't you go getting any ideas? No chance. You're not my type. <laughs> anyway, I've already spoken for. Oh, and how is the hunk? Moody. Hunky. <laughs> I thought you two were coming back to the pub last night. Yeah, we were busy. Doing what? What do you think? And then afterwards, we went for a walk. You? Go for a walk? I oh, know, I couldn't believe it myself. Walking along the canal with the moonlight. Holding hands. Yeah. Looking deep into each other's eyes. Yes. Whispering sweet nothings. 
Well, it's more a case of trying to avoid the puddles, <laughs> really. <laughs> Actually, though, he was really nice. He said some really nice things. Like what? Private things. Oh, I see. So when's the wedding? Next week. Tuesday. Can you come? At a tunnel? No. You believe me. Oh, never. Yes, you did. I never. <laughs> All right. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Morning, Ricky. What's up with her? No, she needs a brain transplant. Take her notice. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Now, nothing. I don't take orders from nobody, remember? I've just seen them in the cab together. Bonnet just brass. Get in. I take it you're talking about who I think you're talking about. After everything I said to him yesterday. Look, Mum, he did tell you he was going to carry on seeing her, didn't he? Yeah. I walked in on you and Carol Brennan once. You give me that same look that Ricky did just then, defiant. <sighs> Mum, he's 21 years old. The next thing I know, you're telling me you got her pregnant. I'm not having it again. Not a second time. Your mother in. Hi. I think that's between me and her, don't you? Is she there? No. Who is it, Bianca? Oh, I thought you said she wasn't in. Hello, Carol? What do you want? I've got something to tell you. Oh, yeah? Run upstairs, Bianca, and make sure Billy's not destroying his bedroom. No, I want to see what she's got to say. I said go upstairs now, please. No. Well, I haven't got your secrets for my daughter. Oh, well, that's funny, because she's got a few from you. Right, Bianca? What's this all about? It's about your Bianca and our Ricky. What's she done? Bianca, come here. Is it true what she was saying? Might be. So you admit you've been seeing him? Bianca. I might have. Have you been seeing him, yes or no? Yes, I've been seeing him. But you know I don't like him. Ricky Butcher's all right. You stay out of this. He gave me a job. I don't like him, Bianca. Well, lucky you ain't got a go of him then, innit? And I can do without your lip, thank you very much. I'm your mother. If I don't like some, you just don't see them. Oh, you're having a laugh, ain't ya? Look at me, am I smiling? Because from now on, as far as you're concerned, Ricky Butcher is history. No, he's not! He is, Bianca. No! Me. He is! No, oh. no buts! Mum, I like him and he likes me. Oh, very touching, I'm sure. But this is where it finishes. Why? Because I say so. Now you watch my lips, sweetheart, because I don't have to repeat myself. This is my house, and whilst you're living in it, you do as I say. All right, end of story. Get out. Carol. Don't say it, Alan. Just don't say a thing. Penny for him? Sorry? Don't let me interrupt. Oh, no, please, please, I want to be interrupted. Gloomy thoughts, you know. Oh. Anything I can do to help? It's a big mouth of mine. I will keep sounding off before I engage my brain. I know the feeling. You're not like that, are you? Even my best friends wouldn't call me tactful. Oh, I could handle it if it was just a case of being tactless, but me. I want my own way so much, sometimes I'm downright cruel. What have you done? It will take too long to explain. I'm in no particular hurry. It's my stepson, Ricky. You don't want to listen to all this. What's happened? It doesn't matter. Look, I've just bought these biscuits here, and what I really fancy is a cup of coffee to go with them. It's very kind of you, Jeff, but really... Kind nothing. I want a cup of coffee. Now, are you putting the kettle on, or am I? I don't want to finish with you. What are you talking about? Bianca, what's happened? Stop staring at me. I said stop staring at me. She's my daughter, Alan. I'll make the rules. I know what's best for her. She don't think so. What does she know? She's just a kid. No, she ain't. This time next year, she'll be an adult. Yeah, well, she's not an adult yet, is she? What are you trying to do? Drive her away from you, is that it? No. Could have fooled me. I know what I'm doing, Alan. Look, Ricky Butcher's a nice enough lad. I don't want to go out with him. What have you got against him? 
but I don't want him breaking Bianca's heart. <sighs> Who says he's going to do that? Well, he's already had one broken marriage behind him. So he made a mistake. Well, he's hardly the steady sort, though, is he? Oh. And when you was a teenager, did you go for the steady sort? No, I didn't. But I don't want my daughter making the same mistakes I made. Thanks. I'm not talking about you. Anyway, this ain't got nothing to do with Ricky and Bianca. It's to do with you and Pat Butcher. Maybe. I think you're mad. You could lose me over this. Well, you know I'm right. And I could lose my job. All for the sake of some argument that should have been dead and buried with the Ark. What do you know? Nothing. Because you won't tell me. I mean it, Alan. I really just want what's best for her. No. I ain't stupid, Carol. There's more to this than that. Who does she think she is? Marching around, telling people how to lead their lives. Yeah, well, my mum's just as bad. What are we going to do? Well, take the notice, of course. Are you joking? Well, what do you want us to do? Well, sit back and say, yeah, fine. You've got a problem, so we're split up. Yeah, well, if she knows I'm with you, she definitely ain't going to let me out. Yeah. We could let them think we're split up. What, and you mean really stay together? We have to be really careful, though, and clever. Yeah. I mean, we've got to keep it really quiet. You mustn't even tell Natalie. Oh, why? Well, if you tell her, it'll soon get out. All right. Could be quite a laugh, could not it? Letting them think they've won. Do you reckon? Mm. Don't worry. We'll get through it. We're smarter than that. Mm. All right? Where are you going? Just got to go and see someone. All right. Well, not in public, remember? I find it hard to think of Ricky as a grown-up. I have the same problem with my kids. Yeah, but he's not even my own flesh and blood. Well, what have I got telling him how to lead his life? You're only trying to help. He'd call it interfering. He's not a parent. I hope I haven't driven him away. But if you think this young woman's a bad influence... <laughs> bad influence? She's a right little scrubber. I should know what I'm talking about. People used to say the same about me. Now, that I don't believe. Oh, it's true. I wish Frank was here. I must say that a hundred times a day, but well, he'd know how to make Ricky listen. Do you take uh, sugar? Yes, please. Ricky. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for everything. Look, love, I can't explain. Oh, don't bother. I'm not interested. Thanks to you, I've just lost the one thing that was any good in my life. Why can't you just leave me alone? Sugar. Oh, hell! This old ruddy house is born to be. Frank said he was going to mend this months ago. I can't stand it. I hate living on my own. I hate it. Hey. I'm sorry, Jeff. Don't be. Look, fetch me a screwdriver. I'll fix it for you now. The last time I saw that, Frank was taking it over the portal cabin. What am I going to do? Nothing. I'll mend it for you another time. I've really messed things up with Ricky, haven't I? I'm no great shakes as a parent, Pat. But one thing I have found out is you've got to let them make their own mistakes. Yeah. He'll come round. Sure he will. I hope so. If there's one person in the old world I don't want to lose, it's Ricky. Yeah. I'd like to take it out of the skin, Good little runner. Going to have one for you, Sarah. Nice old girl, actually. Thank you, sir. Uh, rules are new. Okay, don't mate. I'll do it to you for, um... For uh, 875 cash. How's that? Hang on a second, please. And where are you going? Lunch. Well, I fancy an early lunch today myself. Tough. Listen, mate, you're not being very fair on me. You surprised? Oi! Hang about, mate. I want to talk to you. Right. I want to talk to you about Bianca. I'm far away. She don't know that you're a father. Well, I guess that much. All she knows is that her daddy's someone called Dave I knew when I was at school. And she's never wanted to be told anything more? Never. Nothing at all? No. Not even the colour of your eyes. You see, as far as she's concerned, her father left her and me to get on with things on her own. She's no more interested in him than he was in her. I never had a chance to be interested, Carol. Don't forget your brothers made it very difficult for me to stick around. If my mum hadn't have moved us away when we did, I'd have been dead meat. Well, I didn't exactly have it easy, did I? No, I wasn't saying that. Hey, I had to leave school and have a newborn baby. Do you think that was some sort of party? No. Yeah, I was 14 years old. I should have been thinking about my O-levels and, and going out with my mates. 
Not changing dirty nappies. But no one forced you to have the baby. Oh, so that lets you off the hook, does it? You told me you was going to have an abortion. And all I'm saying is that it was your decision. Ah, so your hands are nice and clean, mister, aren't they? Look, you went ahead and had the kid. You didn't ask me. You didn't even have the courtesy to let me know. So don't start blaming me now. I gave up my future for my child. If you'd had your way, you'd have to flush down some hospital toilet. Crying out loud. Stop keep digging up the past every five minutes. What is it you want? Now, Ricky and Bianca are going to want to know why I'm against them, OK? Now, they're going to come and ask questions. I don't want them getting any answers. Why not? I don't have to give you any reasons. You're nothing to do with me or my daughter. You're irrelevant. Hang on a sec, Carol. Has she never asked any questions about her real father? No. Not a single one. with him just because your mum, are you? Oh, funny that. I don't really fancy sleeping on shop doorways now. She'd never chuck you out. Probably not. But I ain't gonna risk it. You said you liked him. There's plenty of other fellas out there. Well, I don't exactly see him queuing up. I wish I had some proper money. I really feel like treating myself today. Should we go for a drink in a bit? Not tonight, eh? Why? Well, I just don't fancy it. What, well, it's frightening you might catch that off on the glasses? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, what's Ricky think of you finishing with him? Well, he ain't happy. No, he really likes you. How do you know? Well, I was talking to him earlier. What, about me? Yeah. Well, what's he say? Well, it don't matter now if you finish with him, does it? Well, what's he say? Well, I can't remember. Ah. You ain't really finished with him, have you? I have. Well, then, I'm sorry. I'm really fed up. Tell you what. Treat you to a drink in the cafe. Thanks. David! What do you mean, Mum? Janine and me are going shopping for a new school blazer. There's a pie in the fridge if you fancy. Well, how do I look then? Fine. <laughs> Not bad for 49. A smile, go on, why don't you crack your face? Oh. All right. What is it? <sighs> Have I done something wrong? Have you ever had an abortion, Mum? What sort of question is that? Have you? No, of course I haven't. What do you think of it? What, abortion? Hmm. Do you think it's murder? This is Carol Jackson's kid you're talking about, isn't it? Her name is Bianca, Mum. Don't waste your time thinking about her. But I'm her father. No, you had sex with her mother. That's not quite the same thing. I just can't stop thinking about her. Bianca or Carol? Bianca, of course. How do you mean? No, no, not in that way. David, this is getting you nowhere. Why can't you treat her just like any other teenager? Because she's my daughter. Bianca's really choked up about this business with Ricky. Yeah, well, should have forgotten him by the weekend. I don't think so. I love Bianca, Anna. Well, I never said you didn't. You know, when I was pregnant, everybody said I should get rid of it. Do you know, I had to fight to be allowed to have my baby. And then when she was born, everyone said, oh, you've got to get her adopted. And I had to fight again to be allowed to keep her. Yeah, Carol, you kept her. And I'm glad you did. She's a great kid. But my worry is, the way you're carrying on, you could be just a bit of a loser. at the moment. What colour was you after? What are you talking about? Red. Uh, no, there's not many about at the moment. Uh, um, excuse me a minute. Um, Dave, there's a punter outside. Is there? Oh, right. Yeah, looking at the uh, yellow mini. It's gone. God, you're taking some risk, aren't you? Listen, I'll be back in a minute. Um, I've, I've got to tell you something. I, I love you. I love you too, Ricky.
good morning. Is it? Could be. We've turned the pot, mate. Oh, thanks. I need coffee. Everything all right? Why are you asking? Just being sociable. Oh, yeah. It's great. Lost my girlfriend. Apart from that, things couldn't be better. All right, OK. Still. Leaves the way clear for you now, doesn't it? What are you talking about? Bianca. You can make your move now, can't you? Get out of it. Oh, come on. You fancy her, didn't you? Of course I don't fancy her. I've seen the way you look at her. What way do I look at her? Like, like you want her. I do not fancy Bianca. Is that clear? No, oh, well, I suppose you're right. You're too old for her. Thanks. Ricky. All right? All right. I think we need to dump pills inside. No, I wanted to see you. How's it going? Yeah, all right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I should have thought this ages ago. I oh, know, everyone's been so nice. My mum can't do enough for me. I've seen patches treat me like raw. I don't know how good it is to shut my mum up. Okay. Bye. So, Bianca. What? Where? I thought I just saw Bianca. No. Um, you want cover? Yeah, go on then. Can I ask you something? No. Me and Bianca, why's Carol put the boot in? Well, you tell me. But you don't know? Well, they don't tell me anything. Oh, she has to have some reason. Or well, she just got it in for me. Well, she's been grumbling about Bianca's age, you know? But she's 17, though. Yeah, but she's still a kid. She ain't that much of a kid. Look, listen, mate, I've got no problems with that. But you've heard women, haven't you? We're more mature than men. We mature much younger than men. Uh, in my case, they're definitely right. Look, I'm not saying they're wrong, but they can't have it both ways, you know? One minute more mature, next minute too young. Don't matter anyway. I'm finished now. Ain't you two got anything better to talk about? Oh, here he is, the managing director. We're trying to sell cars here, so get on with it. I'll tell you what, sometimes I can... Yeah, I know. Should we go over the arches? Yeah. She's down again. Is it? How much? 25 quid. Hmm. You could have made a mistake. No, I haven't made a mistake. Oh, no, of course not. You don't get anything wrong, do you? Not when it's a case of simple arithmetic, I don't. I got it. You locked up last night, didn't you? Of course I did. There's only you, Alan, and me who's in and out there. Hello? Cabin. Yeah. What about Mum? <sighs> Scumbag. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Ricky. Yeah? It's for you. Who is it? <laughs> Some bird of a funny voice. Yeah. Is it you, is it? Yeah, well, I couldn't resist it. You've got some front. Yeah. <laughs> you busy this morning? Oh, he's not giving you an hard time again, is he? I reckon you should just tell him to stick his stupid cash box and come out with me. <laughs> all right, I'll meet you over there. See you soon. Fed up with all your suspicions. But I didn't take the money, neither did Pat, all right? So why don't you just keep off my back? I've had it up to here. Here, yeah. do you think he's going a bit mental? Ain't you got some work to be getting on with? Sorry, sir. I'm really sorry about you and Bianca. Yeah, me too. Do you want to talk about it? No, no, it's just, I, I've, I've got to go and meet someone. All right, well, uh, if you ever do need a chat, now I'm always here, we could go for a drink. Listen, I, I've got to go, I'll see you later. Bye. Right. I just shut my tools down and walked off. You gonna stay right? No, I've got to do the job. Go back in a couple of hours. I just want to spend some time with you. Yeah, that or yes, or... Yeah, I could spend my life like this. Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Mm. No clapped-out motors that ain't worth fixing. No stroppy customers making complaints. Yeah, no Pat and Carol poking their nose in. Yeah, no aggregation from David. Yeah. Just the two of them, eh? Hey? Lovely, Ricky. Oh, I can understand that. Why? There's something funny about it, though. What do you think? Funny about what? Well, Pat and your mum. No, they just don't like each other. What's funny about that? Oh, I don't know, it just is. David's jealous. <laughs> yeah, probably. He is. He fancies you. Yeah. He's got good taste, anyway. Everyone's always telling me what I should and shouldn't do, you know. Don't get involved, you're too young. You don't know your own mind. You know, you'll get over it. 
Got nothing to say about Sam. I don't think you wanted to talk about Sam. I don't. I just wonder. No, I don't want to talk about Sam. What am I? But I mean, look at Pat and your mum. They're two of a kind. When I mean, your mum was up with Duff before she was 16. Yeah, well, lucky for you she was. Yeah, where did they get off telling us what to do? I mean, at least we're educated about these things these days. <laughs> what? Maybe love. What? Yeah, you're even more sexy when you get uptight. She get uptight more often than she does. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Might be able to keep my hands off you. And another thing, David still accused me of pinching money out of petty cash. Where's he got to now? Don't know, I can't hang about though. I'm meeting Carol for lunch. Go on then, mate, off you go. I'll wait for him. If he comes to her, I just have to lock up. This is dead romantic. Oh, we did if Pat catches me. Yeah, well, it's good all the secrecy and excitement. It's like something out of a film. Yeah, you haven't told Natalie, have you? Of course not. No, because you tell her everything, didn't you? Yeah, but well, she's just curious, that's all. Was she kinky or something? <laughs> no, she's just... Why don't you get a bloke of her own? Well, I ain't told her. I did want to tell her. But I ain't. She thinks I've gone on a job interview today. She asked me what happened and everything. So what are you going to tell her? I'll just say that the man I saw was very impressed with me. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Pat's going to kill me. <laughs> it ain't funny, Bianca. I borrowed those. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Bianca! Mm, being dangerous. Pat. <laughs> I don't care about Pat. I don't care about me mum. Anyway, it's one less glass to carry home, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, at last. I'm Where sorry. Where have you been? Come on, I said. I didn't realise the time. Where have you been? What have you been up to? Why is it every time you open your mouth, it's like you're accusing me of something? Well, at the moment, son, I'm accusing you of being 15 minutes late. I've been poncing around all morning with some time waster while you've been doing God knows what, and you have the front to have a go at me! We're supposed to be partners. Fine. Well, you can take your share of the responsibility. I'm off for a long lunch. Just a man. Oh, yeah? Two pints when you got a set food, Darren. So what do you want, then? I'm ask you something. £20 notes are going missing out of the cash box, right? Now, the way I see it, there's only two suspects, Ricky and Alan. Now, you work with them both. What do you think? Well, Alan ain't the type. And, uh, well, Ricky's too, uh... Well, Ricky's Ricky, isn't he? Yeah. Apart from that, mate, I'm staying out. I'm going mad trying to work out. It's going missing. I'm checking the cash box every five minutes. I mean, we're seriously contemplating the supernatural over there. Well, I'll get Miss Mark on a bit of I was you. <laughs> I guess someone finds it funny. Don't you watch Carol's got? Yeah, Helen bought it from. It's not a birthday enough, is it? Well, I wouldn't know. Looks like it cost a few, Bob. Well, I wouldn't get too excited. He bought it off a big run. You right, Mum? Yeah, you're great. Sorry I, uh, sorry I didn't come and rescue you earlier. Rescue me? What from? That slimy old git that Michelle knocks about with. David, don't make judgments about people you already know. Don't have to know, Mum. I know it's tight, though. Oh, come on. Anyone who goes out with somebody half his own age. I'm starting to get the nasty sound of the pot calling the kettle black here, David. Uh, no, Mum, that was different. That was her giving me the come on and me not sussing it out, that's all. How do you know it's not the same with them? And how do you know that it is? I don't know anything, one way or the other. All right, Pat. Yes, thank you. How's Ricky? He's fine. It's really good. What's that for? What was what for? What's going on, Bianca? What do you mean? Just because I'm not seeing Ricky anymore, I don't mean I can't ask how he is, does it? Why? What do you think I was doing? I think you're taking the mickey. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Look what the cat's brought in. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Well, I ain't noticed you doing me any favours just lately. What have I done now? Want a list? It was for the best, you know. What was? You split up with Ricky. And what would you know about it? Oh, Ricky, of all people, you can do better than that. You what? You don't seem to realise, darling. You're a real catch round here. You're worth ten of him any day. What is this, David? Trying to give me the come on or something? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I promise you. Well, for your information. This ain't some sort of talent contest. I don't just click my fingers and think I'll have that bloke for the night. Look, I didn't mean it like that. I, ju I just... Yeah, what do you mean? 
Look, David, you had your chance with me months ago, and you blew it. Do you think I fancy you now after all that you've no, done to Bianca, me? No, Bianca, please, just. I just want to know. If... I just want to know if you're happy. That's all. <laughs> I'm over the moon. The only thing that'd make me really happy right now is for you to leave me alone. Hello, girls. What's the joke? Nothing to do with you. Oh, right. I shouldn't take any notice. You're mad about it, really. Nah. You're by far. You're such a hunk. <laughs> um. um, I'll have a pint of that, please. Then. Yeah, coming up. Yes, mate. He's looking out for us again. So? But he comes over in a minute. He really fancies me. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Maybe I should leave now, let you two get on with it, eh? What's the matter with you? You're such a grump. No, I'm not. I'm laughing all over my face. I mean, you're pushing off to meet Ricky, I'm pushing off home. I'm going to have a really good time tonight. All right, then. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Let's be honest, Bianca. You couldn't give a toss as long as you're having a good time. Who would you fancy, then, if you had the chance? What, have this lot of years? Yeah, Steve. You've got to be joking. It's a bit of a drip, anyway. Yeah. She's stuck on Della, isn't it? Mm. She's stuck on someone else, isn't she? Oh, don't bring up my dinner, huh? <laughs> Background then. Got to be kidding. All right then. That feel. Oh no, second thoughts. No one a fancy feel with those bald. <laughs> All dads are quite nice. You do fancy him, don't you? Of course I don't. Well, he's got a lot more going for him than David Wicks. Though. Best of luck. Hey. You might just get that little pour down your front. Some women are very particular about the men they drink with. Oh well. Uh... You'll be the expert on that one, eh? The thing is, now, we're both going to have to leave now. <sighs> what for? Well, I said I was spending the evening with you. Oh, here we go. Come on, now. You've come for me before. Yeah, well, sorry. I've changed my mind. What? Well, all I do these days is run around, lie my head off for you and Ricky, and I never get a word of thanks. Well, Matt? I don't know. My girl, right, how are you on, yeah? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Oh, come on, Matt. Just this one. I said no, all yeah. right? All right. We'll see if I care. Hey, where are you going? None of your business. I'll put you a drink. <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me. She seems to be pretty upset with me. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, fancy doing all that stuff like telling her Ricky still had a photo of Sam. Oh, come on. That was weeks ago. Anyway, she's, uh, she's split out with Ricky now, so what's the big deal? Yeah, but it's not as simple as all that. What do you mean? Well, nothing. No, come on, tell me. I said me. nothing, all right? Well, she's not still stuck on him, is she? No, no, of course not. I don't know what she saw on him to the start with, really. I think he's a complete moron. Not still seeing each other, are they? No. And uh, she don't fancy him no more? No, look, do we have to keep banging on about Bianca all evening? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought that, you know, you could uh, fill me in what's been going on. I mean, you are her best mate, after all. Yeah, well, even best mates have their limits. <sighs> And if you're going to keep boring me all evening, I might all as well right, push sorry, off and all. Sorry, 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 I won't say another thing, all right? Okay, so I know you want to get her knickers off. I'll beg your pardon. Well, you just go for it. I don't want to know. Natalie, what? Baby, 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 hey, no, no, no. I know you've got this all wrong. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, the, the last person, the very last person I'm after is Bianca. Now, you must believe that. All right? Now, come on, don't go. Why don't you sit down and we'll uh, talk about you for a change, eh? That's it. <sighs> Ricky! You're making me a heart attack. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, not here. Someone might see. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Right. <laughs> Come on here. Come on. <laughs> Anyway. Go on. So my dad moves back in. What, with his girlfriend? And the baby. Blimey, I bet your mum went spared, didn't she? But did she? They were screaming halfway down George Street. Anyway, they're OK now. She and Lenny get on really well. So is Lenny. That's the, that's, that's, that's the girlfriend, is it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> mum's got a toy boy, ain't she? <laughs> she has a bit of a go, your mum. She's an idiot. She's still prancing around wearing mini skirts, pretending she's 16. And then the next minute, she'll give you a clip round the ear, I'll trying to just remind you who's boss. You can't win with her. He's dead. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Oh, oh. Um, it's funny, that. 
Hang on a sec. Dad have buried that one. And you have that one as well. Cheers, mate. Let me more where that come from. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what about your boyfriends? What about them? Well, you're, um, you're a good-looking kid. I'm sure you've got someone tucked away somewhere. I'm not so much of the kid, if you don't mind. And no. I'm not seeing anyone right now. I don't believe you. Will you try getting off with someone when your sister's snoring away in the next bed? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. I have to share a room and Ricky, don't forget. Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Mm. And the only place you can go in our house is a lab <clears throat> for a bit of privacy, and then you've got to book an appointment. <laughs> Oh, dear. You've had a pretty rough deal one way or another, haven't you? Yeah. But I'll tell you something. I think you're really smashing. I really do. Love you. Love you too. Oh, stop it. What's the matter? We can't stay here all night. Who said anything about all night? <laughs> <laughs> You are. Your place or mine? Come on, you two. Time you're off. All right, come on, then. What time is it, anyway? Past your bedtime. Come on. Oh, dear, that. <laughs> come on. I better call her a cab. Oi! Who are you calling a cab? Okay. It's all right, I'll look after her. She only lives in George Street. I'm sure you will. Don't you let her get anywhere near me. Shh. She's only half the one thing. Now, what's it? Guarding. Oh, whoops. Hey, come on. Come on, come on. Come Where on, are we going? On. I think we better get a bit of fresh air. We can't take home with this thing, are we? Not unless you want me mum to give you a good cook. Are you all right? I'm First. still drunk. Yeah, say so am I. You know what we need? What's that? A nice, oh, <laughs> a nice, a nice cup of coffee. Coffee? That's coffee? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I've got to go and, uh, I've got to go and check the port cabin so we can, um, we can have one in there. All right. Oh. Look, you know something, Davies? What? <laughs> I've had a really nice time tonight. Yeah, I have a No, no, I mean it. Cos, cos I'm so sick of everyone walking all over me and you, you've spent the whole night listening to me. Thanks. <laughs> Come on. Let's go and get that coffee. Okay. How many times she got to tell you? She ain't seeing him no more. Why would she lie to you? You believe her? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Why would she lie to you? She's bound to get caught in the end. Yeah, and you know what she's like. She'd enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, that's because... There's nothing that girl likes more than a crisis. Right. That's because round here, she's never known anything else. Are you going to go at me? Are you saying it's my fault? No, Carol. Of course I'm not. Morning. What's the matter? I've got a spot on 
me knows what's saying. Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry? Do you realise we've been worried sick about you? Oh, well, I can't think why. Bianca! Look, I stayed round Natalie's, all right? Oh, yes. Well, why ask if you don't believe me? You just tell me the truth. Have you been with that Ricky? Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, calm down. Your mother's just worried, that's all. I wasn't. Shut up, son. Don't start on her. Oh, just forget it. Just forget it. I've given him up, haven't I? Just to please you, Rob. And I'm miserable as sin because of it. Now I can't even go round to me best mate to cheer myself up. I said just forget it. What do you want me to do? Slash me wrist? Oh, on another one. Be a minute. Do you want one egg or two? Oh, don't one, please. She's giving me half a pint of black coffee. Oh, like that, is it? Want a bit of taste? Go on, it's got peanut butter on. Got a sock in the Morning. Morning. Oh, well, well, well. Where exactly have you been all night? You what? Oh, don't take any notice. He's in a bad mood. He's got a hangover. Oh, right. Why don't you shut up? David! What's that to you in then? I'm fine. Oh, sure you are. Sure you are. You know you never come home last night, don't you? Didn't you? That's all you know. You were flat out snoring your head off when I came. Oh, don't give me that. So I couldn't stand the racket any longer, so I went out and got a paper. Yeah. Oh, tell darling. You don't believe that load of old rubbish, do you? Why shouldn't I? Get yourself wrapped round that. Make you feel in a better mood. Oh, well. Why it's not one lot. You didn't come home, did you? Don't worry. I won't split on you. <clears throat> Morning. Oh, all right. You look about as bad as I feel. What? I'll never do it again. Never. Not until the next time, that is. I wasn't drinking for your information. I've got food poisoning. Oh, really? That's a good one. I have to remember that. I don't want to have this conversation, all right? No, neither do I come to think of it. Yeah, how'd you get on last night? What do you mean? Well, you and Natalie were well gone by the time I left. Did I miss anything? She was out of her head, mate. I couldn't do a thing with her. Oh, yeah. I saw her home, OK? Well, you want to be careful. You don't want you getting all round wolf for drink the cradles, don't you? I don't make me laugh. You wouldn't believe what the girls are like these days. <laughs> I was lucky to get away with the shirt still on my back. So if anyone asks, like my mum, for example, I stayed round your house. Oh, really? You never guess what happened when I left you and David last night? Yeah, you went and met Ricky and Nana. Yeah, in the porter cabin. What? You never guess what? We only went and fell asleep. Well, when was this? All night. We never woke up to this morning. But the point of it is, Nat, my mum's going bananas wanting to know where I was. Oh, so I'm supposed to tell more whoppers, is that it? Oh, come on, Nat. You've covered me before. Well, maybe this is once too often. Natalie, I'm sure you and Bianca have got 101 things to talk about, but considering you've only just got here... Yeah, right, I'm coming. Thank you. You won't let me down, will you, Nat? I'll think about it. Huh? Listen, Bianca, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of telling lies for you and Mickey all the time, and if you want any more lies, tell him. Just do it yourself. Natalie! No, I'm sorry, Nat. I didn't mean to upset you. It's OK. I'm in a bad mood anyway. I've got a split in a day. I had too much vodka last night. What, you mean you stayed in the bit with David? Yeah. And what happened? I bet he was on about me all evening. No, he weren't, actually. There are better things to talk about than you, you know. Oh, sorry. In fact, he was talking about me all evening. You would have been bored silly. All right, Nat. David Wicks is good company, and I had a really good time. Oh, well, did you now? Natalie? All right. So what happened after then? Did he come on to you? No, he didn't, actually. All he did was walk me home. Oh, blimey. He must be slipping. David Wicks knows how to act, especially with me, because he knows I'm not a top. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, work it out for yourself. Right, and we'll have, um, uh, a dozen quarter-inch by one inch. Not please. a quarter. Five sixteenths. Oh, sorry. Um, not a quarter. Five sixteenths. By one inch. By one inch. And, uh, a dozen three-eighths by, uh, one and a half. And a, and a dozen, a three Sorry, eight. two dozen. Sorry, mate. Uh, can you make that two dozen, please? Two dozen three-eighths by one and a half. And still nuts to go. Nuts? Yeah, still nuts to match. For Christ's sake, I can't cope with this. You do it. <sighs> Hello? Alan Jackson speaking. Hello, mate? Right, should we have a bit of a recap? Uh, hang on a sec. Look, why don't you shoot off and uh, go and get yourself a coffee or something? Hmm? Well, go on. You need a chance to get your head together, if you ask me. Yeah, you're probably right. 
All right, then, man. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you. And, uh, take your time, yeah? Okay. Right. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Alan, uh, listen, if you want to go out before I get back, will you, uh, make sure you lock the door? Yeah, right. Listen, Natalie, please. Look, just, oh, just Natalie, leave just, me alone. Say, just listen to what I've got to say, Why please. Why can't you just stop touching me? Yeah. Natalie? Yeah, quite long. Uh, what the hell's going on? Don't ask me, Kev. All I asked for was a cup of coffee. Natalie! What's up? Are you all right? No, I'm not. Not that you care much about it. Are you? Just leave it, Ricky. I've had it up to here. Is this something I've done? No, it's everyone. You and Bianca, I'm sick of being walked all over. I mean, you and Bianca are having a lovely time, I'm sure, prancing about and having your secret meetings. Only next time, just leave me out of it, will you? I'm sorry, I didn't realise you felt this way. We do now. Well, I'm sorry. Is there something else bugging you? Well, come on, what is it? I'm just sick of being used, that's all. I mean, it's all right for you and Bianca. You've got each other. I mean, you can say what you'd like to her. You're joking, aren't you? Bianca, she's got everyone after her. You, David, everyone. What do you mean? You should have heard him last night. Who? David. Going on and on about how much she means to him, how much he fancies her. I mean, what is it between them two? Why don't you just come out and say it? What? That he's seriously after her, that's what. Bianca's loving every minute of it. Oh, yeah? Can I have a word? Oh, you're talking to me now, are you? But it was Natalie you was after. Oh, why? Uh, what, what, what has she been saying? I knew what a wonderful time you had last night. How you walked around, what a gentleman you was, how you didn't laugh finger on her. Right. Well, we were talking about a different fella. Favour. She's just a kid. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't touch her. Oh, really? You liked him a bit young. You were? Well, can't help but wonder. If it would have been me instead of Natalie, might have been a different story, eh? Yeah. Excuse me a minute. I don't know what you're going on about. I don't fancy David and I never have. So I come everywhere I go, I keep seeing you. Don't be so stupid. And how come Natalie's telling me he's crazy about you? Is that what she said? Yeah, and you like it. Oh, when was this? About half an hour ago. Outside her ass. She was really upset. Well, so I'm over my life. She spent half the night in the thick with David getting drunk, and God knows what else after that. Joking. No, she's right tart, Natalie, once she gets going, you know. I'm surprised she ain't got her claws into you yet. Oh, don't be stupid. Anyway, we're not talking about Natalie, we're talking about you chatting up David. Oh, don't time. start that again. Look, I'm not standing for it. You're either with me or you're with him. It's up to you. I don't give a toss about David. All right, so I was talking to him in the thick, but it's only because he was going on about Natalie. What about? It's obvious she fancies him, you don't want to know. And I'm her best mate and he wants a bit of advice, that's all. all right. Satisfied? Oh, I don't know. Why does everyone have to make it so complicated? Don't ask me. It's simple as far as I'm concerned. Why would I want anyone else when I've got you? <laughs>